the 10.1 inch HMI intelligent TFT LCD module used in this video is sponsored by the Stone Technologies. Stone Technologies is a professional manufacturer of HMI intelligent TFT LCD modules. Depending on the application, the Stone Technologies offers industrial type, advanced type and several type intelligent TFT LCD modules available in different sizes. The one I'm using in this series of videos is the several type 10.1 inch HMI display module. For more information visit stoneitech.com. In today's episode, you will learn how to send the census data from Arduino to the HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module using the serial communication. For the best understanding, I have used the variable resistor, which of course you can replace with any other sensor you want. The GUI design and the variable memory addresses remain the same. For the extreme basics, watch my previous two tutorials. In tutorial number one, I explained how to design a graphical user interface using the images designed in Adobe Photoshop, how to use the button function, data variable function, hardware parameter function, and how to use the tray adjustment and slider scale functions for controlling the screen brightness. While in tutorial number two, I explained the commands used for reading and writing how to control the user interface without pressing the on-screen buttons, how to access the brightness control register and so on. So I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorials and then you can resume from here. In this episode we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram, number two, Arduino interfacing with the HMI TFT LCD module and number three, Arduino programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The purchase links of the HMI TFT LCD module and other components used in this video are given in the description. As you can see, the circuit diagram is really simple. The 10.1 inch TFT LCD module and Arduino is powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery. All the grounds are connected together. The DN pin of the TFT LCD module, which is a data in, is connected with the TX pin of the DV9 connector. The D out pin, which is the data out pin, is connected with the RX pin of the DV9. The VCC pin of the MAX232 board is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground of the MAX232 is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the TX and RX pins of the MAX232 board are connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. Later in the programming, I will explain why am I using pin number 2 and pin number 3 as the serial board. A variable resistor or potentiometer is used as the sensor. The middle leg of the potentiometer is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0, while the other two legs are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volts and ground. As you can see, the HMI TFT LCD module is connected with the MAX232 board through the RS232 cable which I modified. Normally the RS232 cable comes with the male and female type DB9 connectors. But we have a small problem. As you can see, the MAX232 board has the female type DB9 connector and the HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module also comes with the female type DB9 connector. I replaced the female type DB9 connector with the male type DB9 connector. I simply soldered three wires. I connected the ground of this male connector with the ground of this connector. I soldered the TX pin of this connector with the RX pin of this connector and finally connected the RX pin of this connector with the TX pin of this connector. Now I can use this cable to connect the HMI TFT 
LCD module with the MAX232 board without any problem. The VCC of the MAX232 board is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the TX and RX pins of the MAX232 are connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. This is the same GOI which I used in my previous two tutorials. The variable memory addresses remain the same. Now we will use Arduino to send the census data using the serial communication. The received values will be stored in these two memory locations. Let's have a look at the Arduino's programming. I started off with the software serial library. The software serial is basically a library that enables the serial communication on digital pins other than the Arduino's default serial port. Using the software serial library we can create multiple software serial ports with speeds up to 1152.00 bits per second. In this particular project you can also use the Arduino's default serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. But trust me this will really make you tired because each time you upload a program you will have to remove the wires. That's why I always say never use the Arduino's default serial port for the communication with other devices. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. I created a software serial port with the name MAX232 on the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. Pin number 2 is the RX while pin number 3 is the DX. Then I defined the sensor's high and low bytes. These are the same addresses used in the GOI 0x0002 and 0x0006. Then I defined a pin for the potentiometer. A potentiometer or variable resistor is connected with the airlock pin A0 of the Arduino. These are the same commands which I have already explained in my previous tutorial. You can watch my previous tutorial. The link is given in the description. In the right set of function, I activated the serial communication and set the variable resistor as the input. Then starts the while loop function. First we read the variable resistor and store the value in variable sensor 1 which is of the type integer. In variable sensor 2, I stored a random value of minus 53. Next, I split the sensor's values into high and low bytes and stored the values in A at locations 6 and 7. Similarly, for the sensor 2, the circuit diagram and programming is available on my website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.